Good morning. So, in reception, it's really important that we can remember what quantities look like, just like in nursery. And um, it's also important for us to use the Numicon um, to find different ways to make numbers. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So here's my Numicon. So we're going to start with trying to find different ways to make five. So I'm just going to lay my Numicon out in front of me. Now we need the Numicon which is smaller than five to help us with this job. I'm going to find that now. So we've got one, two, three, four. So, let's start with four. Which other Numicon do we need to make five? That's right, it's the one. So four and one makes five. Take them off. Try another way. Three. And two makes five. Now, if I had a two and another two over there, I could have one. That would be three Numicon together. Two, two and a one. Lots of different ways that we can put quantities together to make five. Here's the ten. I call it the king of the Numicon. And we can use all the other Numicon for this because um, they are all smaller than ten. So we could start by having a nine and a one. That makes ten. I'm going to take them off and try a different one. How's about a four and a six? That makes ten. Hmm. Let's try a different one. Seven and a three. Well, that makes ten. There are lots of different ways to make ten. You can try this with all of the Numicon. You could try a six, four, and maybe two ones, or four and a two. That would make six. Lots and lots of different ways. We don't even have to write this job down. Just play with your Numicon, see how it feels in your hands because it's weighted as well, so the 10 is heavier than the one. And I'm gonna show you a little job with that next week. I'll see you later, bye-bye.